Yeah, we have a lot of resources on Adobe TV. We have tons of resources there. Uh, we're very fortunate in that we have a thriving ecosystem of video trainers. There are thousands uh, of books and free resources. There are things on YouTube. Uh, Adobe TV is a great place to start. They need to stuff. actually play with it, maybe give themselves a self-assignment so that they can do something that they're interested in and that they there want to do. great resources online. My website, Kelby Training, Acme Educational, the list just goes on. There's a ton of great information. Great books like uh, Martin Evening's books, Jeff Shewey's books, Bruce Fraser's books. They're all fantastic resources. I think one of the most important things, though, is to try and find your core information that you know kind of set a skeleton to be able to hang that information on because you'll quickly be flooded by so much information you won't necessarily know where to file it. So if you can look for the big structure and find ways to get that information to go together so that it becomes a useful whole, that I think is particularly helpful. Okay, the secret to success for a really good Photoshop user to move to the next level. Find a location, a great school, say for example, the Santa Fe Photographic Workshop. You need to get away from your work. Go to this location where there, A, is a very good instructor, B, there are other students in class that you can learn from. You hide away for a week, take this intensive course, and you come out a much better user. That's the secret to getting to the next level when working with Photoshop. We're at a really hard time in the industry right now where there's so many new features that you can keep up with all of that or you can continue to make your own images. So I think there's a real interesting point of governance to explore the new. 3D is going to be something that's uh, very useful for everybody in the near future, so is video. And yet that takes you down a whole new avenue. So you really have to be careful about how you spend your time keeping up. The exam is pretty difficult. You really do need to know the entire application. So if you're a photographer, that means you might need to stretch a little bit and also learn a little bit about the web and about CMYK and the, the printing process and stuff. You really do have to know the whole app. So this is one of those times where the user guide actually really comes in handy.